Hello friends and allies and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about the reflection mechanic which Knight have. And with the recent summer update we have also been able to have 3 items in total which have the reflection effect on the Knight equipment. The Eldritch Shields gives the most of dealing 42 damage, the armor 19 and the helmet 13. But how does this reflection really work? Well, where the reflection damage is dependent on the HP of the creature and the maximum HP of the creature. So if the monster have 100 HP, the reflection can deal 42 damage since that's the attribute of the shield but because of the maximum hp being 100 you can maximum only deal one damage with the shield but let's say that the monster will have 4200 hp the shield can deal 42 damage so if the creature let's say have 5000 in max HP, you will still only be dealing 42. But if you combine all the three items the Spirit Foreign Armor, the Spirit Foreign Helmet, and the Eldritch Shield you can in total deal 74 damage in one turn. And let's say that you have an 8 box all around you, that's 592 damage per turn. And when it comes to the damage reflection, it does not work with bosses and it does not work on ranged attack. It only works with auto attacks from the creatures. And the damage reflection is influenced by your damage prey on that creature. And it does also works on player. And when the player is using a wand on me, you can see that I'm not dealing any damage reflection towards him. But once he starts using auto attack on me, you can see that the damage reflection is getting an effect. Let's make an example how much damage reflection actually means towards your damage. So my knight is level 1000 prick and it has melee skill 125. So with my Exotic Gran, I should be hitting around 690. And if I put on my damage reflection gear, I will deal an additional 74 damage to my Exotic, Exotic Gran and Exotic Mass. So if I were to be wanting to be taking that extra damage with the damage reflection without having the equipment on, so to deal 74 more damage from my Exotic Gran, I will be needing to take 370 levels or I will be need to be taking uh, the skill of 161 without taking any levels if I want to increase my base damage from my attacks with 74. Um, one skill increase is two more damage from my spells pretty much. So that kind of get you going on how good the damage reflection actually can be. And it's actually best from um, the armor and the helmet, since you kind of want to be using the double-handed weapon as a knight. But with this huge amount of damage reflection, which you can be putting on, uh, the death axe isn't a, a bad option anymore. With the high amount of damage, damage reflection you can have with the Eldritch Shield and the new Spirit Foreign items. So, in a spawn where I'm hunting a savvy surface, I prefer to be using the Ice Axe or the Two-Handed Axe. But, while I'm hunting Gnome Prana, I think I need extra protection, which a shield means where you will be having one additional protection with the imbuement on the shield. So, on Gnome Prana, the Eldritch Shield becomes amazing. One of the issues can be that the monsters have kind of high HP. Uh, but it's a, a, a nice additional damage with the extra amount of protection which you get. To sum it up, if you were to be using the helmet and the armor, the monster can maximum have 
3200 HP to be maximizing your equipment. They can have more HP, but it won't be affecting anything. But they can't either have less, because then you will be dealing less damage. But I think the most important thing to remember is that the Eldritch Shield is rather cheap, and it really boosts your damage in relation to increasing your skill and so on. So where should you be putting in your money? I think getting the um, damage reflection items is one of the better steps to be taking at the moment. They are expensive and so on, but in relation to investing your money on the double X and putting them into your skill, getting all the new spirit form items should be a priority. And the Elder Shield in an area like this is just amazing when you can be putting it on without risking your life. This was my short take on the damage reflection. I hope you have the opportunity to buy it. I have not have the, had the opportunity yet. I'm currently borrowing both the helmet and the armor from my friend. I wish I could be getting the money to be buying it myself, but it's I don't have the money just yet. I need to be grinding a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video.